Tonight's big story and mystery is unfolding across Mid-South Farms. Something is killing crops, trees, even weeds, and nobody seems to be able to explain why. Thank you for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. I'm Claudia Barr. The farmers are scratching their heads, and some are worried their crops may be lost to the mysterious plague. It's happening along a large swath of land near the Shelby and Tipton County border, along Herring Hill Road, and elsewhere near the Mississippi River bottoms. Sean Shivot is just back with more. Richard, Claudia, take a close look. This is what has farmers worried. These tiny dots look as though something burned straight through the leaf, and they're finding this everywhere. The tiny dots appear different depending on the plant. On corn stalks, the dots seem to turn white in the center. On other plants, a white dust speckles the leaves, then destroys the green life underneath. We found it all in the herbs, in the flowers, in the plum tree, in the weeds. It's apparently on everything. Tony Holt grows organic produce that she sells at area farmers markets. As these farmers inspect the new growth covered in the perplexing plague, they fear their entire crop may be lost. Just down the road, less than 10 miles at Wilder Farms, the damage could possibly hit hundreds of acres of corn. It's sudden and it's so wide. It's so large out here. Everybody's seeing it. It appears to have hit everything. Crops, weeds, trees, and there's nothing in common. The Holtz raise organic crops so they don't spray pesticides in any of their fruits and vegetables. The first thought was a parasite or insect, but Wilder Farms sprays pesticides, and the damage is just the same. Farmers here first noticed the damaging dots over the weekend. Then Holt came home to find this, baby Martin's Dead. There's two dead birds hanging out of two different uh, gourd houses, and so we're concerned about that. We don't know that it's related, but it's alarming. You know, we have horses. We're concerned about the horses on the grass. We've got chickens. We sell our eggs at the market. Now, the farmers that we spoke with are convinced that something in the air caused this damage. They're asking the USDA as well as, as, well as other experts to look into this problem, and we are too. Reporting live downtown, Sean Chai about WRG News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Sean. Three